Hey y'all, it's me Robin of Tabletop with Robin. And today I am presenting my spring afternoon English tea party tablescape in a collab being hosted by N of Luxury Living with N and her co-host Ellen of Glamour Ellen. Now I love setting beautiful tablescapes and I also love setting tablescapes for tea parties. Um, and this one was fun because it's an English tea party and we were to use something that symbolized an English tea party with English teacups and English decor. We were to wear a flower dress or something that you would wear to a high tea in England. So. I don't own many hats. Actually, I didn't own any hats. And I happened to find this one. And I put my little fascinator flower on the side. Uh, I have a lot of hair, so I don't generally wear hats. <laughs> and then I had to, get a, uh, had to wear a floral dress. And this is one of the few floral dresses that I own. I don't do a lot of flowery clothes and things like that. I'm pretty straightforward as far as my attire. But anyway, so that was what we were supposed to do. We were also supposed to add flowers to the tablescape um, and just use our imagination to create an English afternoon spring tea party tablescape. Um, I will host in and uh, Ellen's channels in my description box below as well as the playlist link when it becomes available. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy my tea party tablescape. <laughs>
is my spring afternoon English tea party tablescape. With all my little goodies. I originally had it outside, but the weather um, had other ideas and it rained for like four days straight in the backyard. Um, I'll show you pictures of how I started it, but I had to bring it inside. And today would have been a beautiful day, however, it is about 40 degrees outside here in Florida. It was around 30 degrees last night. Uh, temperature dropped from like 75 degrees to 30 degrees. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm not going outside in the cold. But this is my beautiful tablescape. The dinnerware I got from the thrift store and it was a service well let's see there were 10 dinner plates um, four or five cup and saucers I only did four for this table there were also some appetizer plates I think there were like 10 of those um, there were either eight or ten of these fruit bowls, I think is what they're called, or dessert bowls. This trimmed in 22 karat gold. And if y'all know anything about this kind of china, I just thought it was beautiful. I've had it for a little over a year and this is the first time I've actually used it. But I got the whole set for $24.95. But that's who it's by. It's got a um, English lady and gentleman on the in the bowl. And then also on the plate is a different pattern. And then in the cup is all another pattern. And then this is the cup and saucer. The napkins I also got from the thrift store several years ago and there were two square plates with this set that was only two they had the tablecloth is actually a curtain that um, when I bought it it was white and I took some tea bags um, several of them and boil them and then put the tape of uh, the covering tablecloth is what I'm using it for today in the tea bags and dyed it like this um, old old brownish color because the plates are not white they're like ivory and the napkins have an ivory cast to them also so I was trying to didn't want it to be white white. The wine glasses and water glasses also came from the thrift store. It was a set of eight of those. I've had those for several years. This three-tiered um, cake stand or appetizer um, stand also came from the thrift store. This cup and saucer came from, um, this creamer and sugar bowl came from my grandma. The dinner, the 
flatware came from the thrift store. I've shown it before. Got two gold pheasants in the middle. And actually, my teapot is turned the wrong way. So you can see the design. That came from the thrift store, so it didn't have a lid. But I loved it, so we're using it for a vase today. And then this um, three-tiered tray also came from the thrift store. I think I got it last year. And then this teapot, cup and saucer, came from a antique store. And I watched it for probably a month or so. And the lady told me that it was going to go on sale again like that next week. And I ended up getting the cup, um, teapot, creamer, bowl, sugar bowl, and eight cup and saucers for $10.00. They marked it down found it. every week or so they would mark it down some more to the final sale and I end up getting it for ten dollars but it's absolutely gorgeous so we have some scones no I did not make them I bought them from Publix grocery store from the uh, bakery department there's blueberry frosted there's orange cranberry then I have some, I think they call them rugula, that's got raspberry filling in them, and some little uh, swirl muffins, and then some madelines. And then on this tray, we have cucumber, um, honey smoked turkey, um, and Havarti cheese. Little finger sandwiches, tea sandwiches. And I think I'd used um, Greek cream cheese on there and then I put some blackberries in the center. The middle tray is zucchini bread with honey nut cream cheese and then some strawberries in the middle. And then the bottom is sliced small mini French bread uh, sandwiches with um, pimento cheese and cucumber and also chicken salad um, and chicken salad. And again, I made none of it. I purchased it, just put it together. And I, I don't know if you saw me snacking while I was fixing it. And then we have some macarons. Um, raspberry jam and then some candied pecans. Toffee pecans. I am going to so enjoy this with my family because that's who we're at, who's, who's having it with me. And then on my beverage bar, I have all kinds of flavors of tea, Earl Grey, ginger tea, raspberry green tea, passion fruit and papaya, uh, pumpkin spice chai, vanilla caramel chai, uh, chamomile, vanilla, and manuka honey, lemon, ginger, and manuka honey, blueberry green tea, and then on this one I have the honey spoons, and some more tea, and this is, um, These ones were ginger, something or other, I can't remember. But And there's also some coffee for the people that don't drink tea, because everybody doesn't drink tea. I only drink green tea, so that's why I have the, the little tea bags out. Um, actually, this is a um, 
ginger green tea. I remember now. And then the, the ginger t uh, ginseng tea. So those are the kinds of teas that I drink. And that's what I put out. And that's my beverage bar. And this is my spring afternoon English tea party tablescape. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Ann and Ellen, for hosting this collab again. I hope I can participate in many more. I said I forgot to tell you. Oh, so the charger plate is from Hobby Lobby um, a couple of years ago. Um, and they're like a rose gold pink color. And it goes really well with the, the pink flowers and the run of the garland in the center. So again, thank you, Ann. Thank you, Ellen. Please go back and check out their channels. These ladies do amazing decorating. Um, most of it is glam. Um, they do do some DIYs, um, high-end DIYs as well, um, as well as styling their homes in the glam uh, fashion. Um, I, again, we'll put their channel links and the playlist in the description box below. Um, and if you haven't already joined my channel, what are you waiting on? Please like if you like it, share it with your friends and your family, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you can be alerted to when I upload new videos. You guys take care, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.